It's a steel tube chassis, a fiberglass body. Uh, it's rather aerodynamic. Uh, this is a built by high school students. So we're at the Science Festival in Washington, D.C. My name is Simon Hogger, and I am an engineer turned math science teacher. And we've built this car as a part of a program that I started in 1998. Um, this car was built for the Automotive X Prize to get over 100 miles per gallon. Uh, it's built on a Factory 5 uh, chassis. And uh, we have a Volkswagen diesel engine in the rear running biodiesel. We had an electric motor in the front um, running the front wheels. Uh, independently of the rear wheels and that was one of the ways we got great fuel economy out of it. So I started in a high school in Philadelphia in 1998. We started with an electric go-kart that won a science fair project um, and each year the program grew. By 2002 we won a national competition. We beat out MIT and several other universities and by 2005 we produced our first hybrid sports car. In 2008 the Automotive X Prize announced a 10 million dollar competition for cars that get over 100 miles per gallon. Out of the 111 teams in the world, we were the only high school. Um, and we beat out 90 teams in that competition to make it to the semifinals. So we did exceptionally well. We weren't able to win the competition, but we still did very well. And most importantly is in terms of an engaging learning activity, uh, this program has been very effective. Imagine just an empty steel tube chassis. We had to do some engineering to get the electrics to fit in the front. The electric motor drove the front wheels through a single speed gearbox. It's a pretty minimal interior. I mean, it's a race car. We put the battery pack packs back there. We were running an eight kilowatt hour pack, um, single speed gearbox in the front tied to an Azor Dynamics electric motor. We were getting a ton of publicity for the car because we were beating teams that we shouldn't be beating. And it's a, a urban high school in Philadelphia. But what ended up I realized was that the learning that was going on through this approach by giving students real problems to solve and a hands-on experience was they were doing far better than their peers and so this year me and a few of my friends started a school in Philadelphia that's all project-based. It's all about solving real-world problems. It's a, it's a really effective way to engage students, you know, give them a real problem to solve, give them a hands-on experience. You know, unfortunately in high school uh, much of what goes on is, is learning facts and regurgitating information and it's not very engaging. Um, and so what we discovered was when students are challenged to solve real world problems that they're interested in, um, they actually learn the, the math, the science, the, the research that's required um, in service of that problem.